Hello, welcome back to the channel. Right before I start, I just want to say that if you would like to support the channel, you can do so through buymeacoffee.com. There, you can make donations to the channel and you can also suggest stories as well. I'll be putting a link in the description below. So again, if you want to donate to the channel, you can go to buymeacoffee.com. One night, Rex and Ruby were driving home from visiting her parents' house that weekend since it had been her mother's birthday. As they were cruising down the long dark highway, they chatted back and forth exchanging stories. Did you know that there is an urban legend about this highway? Ruby asked her husband. They say a long time ago a little girl went missing from her home kidnapped by a local and never returned home. It's just an urban legend though, right? Brett told her. Maybe the old folk made it up to get kids to be home before dark. Well, I think it's true. Ruby retorted with a pout. It was then that the radio playing soft music in the background faded and played crackling static. What's wrong with the radio? Ruby sighed, trying to find a station that will come through. It's probably just electrical interference, Brett rationalized. It did not take too long for the radio to return to normal, but on the right side of the highway was a small girl waving at them to pull over. What's a kid doing out this late? Ruby questioned it. Should we give her a ride? Replied Brett. Yeah, we should, especially since it's so late. She agreed with her husband and he slowed down the car. Yet something about this did not sit right with him, even though Brett had agreed to stop. Ruby pressed the button and the window rolled it down as the little girl walked it over. Hey sweetie, do you need a ride home? She asked. Yes, that would be nice if you could. I stayed outside too long. My mom is really worried about me. The girl with gray eyes and red hair replied. The girl got into the back seat, sitting in the middle. So what's your name kiddo? Brett asked, looking at the small girl in his rear view mirror. Catherine, the red-haired girl replied. She then began pointing at different back roads that Ruby didn't know existed, and she grew up in this area. The last one they turned it down was a long dirt road overgrown with nature. There at the end was an old, dilapidated cabin. Concerned, Ruby turned to ask Catherine if she was sure this was right. Maybe because it was dark, the roads did not look the same, only to find that she was not there. Huh? Her husband looked it up in the rearview mirror to see why she had been so surprised. There in the back seat where he could have sworn Catherine sat was completely empty. 